Hey gang, this is a uh, bullseye set of cranks. It's actually complete. It's currently set up for mountain bike. I think you call these Gen 2, maybe Gen 3 because they got the built-in crank keeper on the other side. Um, I believe these are 185. I'm going to have to remeasure them, but that's what I measured last time. It's a, all a Shimano gear set. Came off an early 90s GT mountain bike. You can expect this to be all original from that era. Somewhere in the 90s, they uh, swapped out to this stuff. And it's all there. Some of the key things to note, for example, there's your bearings. I think they're Hadley style. This O-ring right here, if you look around, you'll see that they used them on... Um, this, this is something they used to uh, sort of pre-tension the bearing, if you will. There's one on this side as well. So uh, little bits of paint missing here and there, but it actually all looks pretty good. You know, you're missing it where the pedal bites down. You're missing it behind this washer on the face there. Um, you can see these are not, you don't see all the way through these because if you look really close there, you can see the little bolt on the other end. But they, they made the end of these where the, about that much of it is solid so that they could put a screw in the end for a crank keeper. Bullseyes really need them. I like the Gen 1s, but uh, that was a nuisance problem for us the whole time we have one. Uh, on the paint, you can see right there some scuffing from shoe wear or whatever you want to call it. Not really from wrecking or anything like that. It doesn't look bad. It's just something to know about. Um, let's see here. All this hardware... It's the original bullseye hardware for mountain bike crank setups. There's even spacers. So this chain ring here bolts to this. No, it bolts to the spider, but there's actual spacers. You can see them in there. Those are the bullseye spacers. So these bolts, these bolts, and the spacers. There's 10 spacers total, two on each bolt are the uh, original bullseye spacers. So some of the teeth are a little bit messed up. I didn't have any problems with it when I rode it. But I will also mention, I don't get these Shimano chain rings. Like, what are those metal clips for? I guess something to do with changing gears. Now I, I noticed randomly, I didn't do that on purpose, but they're lined up with the crank arms. I didn't even pick up on that before. That just, so maybe it has something to do with where you're at in the, in the pedaling. You know, they, they every every some of the teeth have different contours. I don't totally understand it. Somebody out there does. I mean, they're machined, different contours, and like these little rivets. I have no clue what Shimano was thinking, but pretty interesting looking. So if you don't want a mountain bike set up, you'll get this, the three chain rings, and you'll get these um, chain ring bolts. You won't get the original bulls at once. The, the original bullseye bolts and spacers are all going to go with the crank set wherever it goes so that a person can keep it original. So, um, let's see if I can find easily the, I don't know, I think it was 48 and 36 and 24 or something like that, but I'd have to count them. So, that's pretty much it. Complete bullseye. I believe these are 185. Got to measure them again. In fact, I think I'll do that now. You can see the little original sticker under there. It's just no doubt all original stuff. Uh, one other thing I'll mention is the, uh, for whoever gets the chain rings, if you don't buy the whole crank, these three alloy chain rings were in there. Somebody saw fit to lock tight them. So two of them broke, so I replaced them with some old chrome ones I have. You can have all the chain ring bolts, but just wanted you to know that.